Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a synth harp patch. I'm going to be using the JU-06, which is a Juno 106 emulation. I'll be showing you how to make this patch for use in my JRPG slash RPG uh, series of making music for those games. And those games generally have a synth harp in it or even real harp samples that have been, you know, gone through with quite a bit of downsampling to fit on game cartridges of the time like the SNES, which use samples. So let's go ahead and start with our JU06 here. I have everything set down to the lowest possible setting so you won't get anything out of it. Let's start with the VCA. I'm going to go ahead and turn it all the way up. Now I'm also going to go ahead and go to the filter and I'm going to turn the frequency of the low pass filter right around to 80. And let's go ahead and use no attack. Uh, a little bit of decay here. Let's use about 40% on the decay of the max decay. And then let's go about 40% to max of the release. And let's go ahead and see how it sounds. already have something that sounds like the correct envelope or about the correct envelope. What I'm using for the oscillator is a square wave or actually a pulse wave that can be shaped. So you need a synth uh, that has a pulse width modulation control or something that can shape it. Because what we're going to want to do is give it a little bit of a change in shape. gotten a little bit uh, different on the sound. Um, now it's really starting to sound like a harp. Let's go ahead and close the filter a little. Okay, that's a little too uh, far closed. Let's open it up a little. Now you can hear that the higher frequencies are going to sound a little muffled and that's not what we want. So, on most synths, you have some form of filter tracking that uh, is tracked by the actual note that's being played, and this is no different on the JU-06 or the uh, Juno-106. So let's go ahead and turn up filter uh, tracking for the keyboard. I'm going to turn it about 80%, so now the higher notes are played and they sound a little crisper because you're not putting as much emphasis on the filter on the higher notes. notes are okay with that. It's giving it um, more of a harp-like uh, sound. All right, let's give it a little bit more release. Okay, that's starting to sound a lot better. All right, so I'm going to move over here to my effects pedal. I have a G1 on here. This is probably one of the cheapest effects pedals you can get. I highly recommend it if you're just starting out uh, or if you just want a decent reverb for a cheap price. It has stereo out, but the uh, caveat to that is it's on a single uh, wow jack. So you're going to need to get a splitter that basically splits it out to tip and ring. That gives you left and right channel and then you can get true stereo output on that. You'll want the stereo output because the reverb gives a nice uh, stereo image. So the reverb I'm going to use right here is just the hall reverb. And I'm gonna go ahead and kick it on. So let's use it without right now. Okay, now it's starting to sound more like a realistic harp, but at least more realistic than the standard synth harp. I feel that the reverb really adds to it. Uh, what I'm using again is the Hall reverb and the settings on that. I put a, quite a bit of decay on that. It's like 20 out of I think possibly 30 on this. Um, the tone set to default. Tone I believe is just like a 
shelving EQ on this, so I think it boosts both high. Um, I think it just actually boosts. It's a high shelf, so it just boosts high, but I'm not sure. Um, but I kept it on 5, which is the default. Um, Pre-decay, I didn't change that. I think it's by default by 40. You don't want too much of a pre-decay on this. You just want some ambience to make it sound. More like a real harp. So that can be used in your mix of uh, JRPG tune. Uh, or just a standard computer RPG tune. If you've played any of these, um, most likely one of the tracks on it has a harp, so it's a good starting place. Um, I have a few more pedals just for an example. You can use the 70 CDR, it also has the same hall reverb. You could use the Eventide Space, which has a, de a really good hall reverb, but if you're on a budget, your best bet is something cheap like the G1 on, or you can get some pretty decent just single reverb pedals that'll give you what you want. You do want to stereo out just to get that image and you want something that's a hollow reverb. Alright, I hope this helps somebody.